Nikita Sashnikov. There he is. He's got a clause in his contract that forces, if he wants, forces the Leafs to bring him up yesterday or he has an opportunity to go back to Russia and be loaned to the KHL. And, and there are many ways to look at this thing. Did, I mean, is it possible? Now, obviously, you get NHL money if you come up here, and that's a big thing that, that they, there might have been a deal to be made if they really wanted to keep him in the American Hockey League. Yeah, it's a, it's a really interesting situation. I think the best part for Nikita Sashnikov is, you know, he was disappointed not making the team right out of camp. He played 56 games with the big club last year. So he, he views himself as an NHLer. And on 90% of the rosters, he would be an NHLer. But just the Leafs are just so deep and forward, he had to start the year with the Marlies. Um, the best thing for him, because w- one thing that hasn't been talked about enough is the guy's coming off his first concussion. And he just really rattled and had a tough summer. Um, kind of recovering from that injury, not only physically, but mentally trying to regain his confidence. Um, and he, he even said, like, he was, he started to get afraid to take a hit, to give a hit, and um, that, that kind of affected him through training camp. So I think it was really good for him to go down with the Marlies, gain his confidence, and he performed. He got 12 points in 14 games. So the guy is NHL caliber. Um, but now they're in this tricky situation where – you're working for Lou Lamorello and Mike Babcock, and they're not just going to throw you in the lineup just because of uh, the KHL threat. So he's kind of caught in limbo in my mind. He's going to be like Josh Levo. It, all signs point to Austin Matthews coming coming back this week. So uh, where where does this leave Sosnikov? Healthy scratch, and how how does he get into the lineup? Uh, I don't see how I, unless you know injuries or a forward goes into a terrible funk and Babcock decides to scratch another guy, but he's caught, kind of caught in, in, in between. And I just wonder how long this goes on before the Leafs trade a guy like a Levo or like a Soshnikov.